Hey, my name's Riddle, and I'm back again to give you some more commentary on art, specifically my uh, movement of art. Uh, I believe I've fallen several different categories. One of those categories is the uh, dystopian movement. It's the op opposite of utopian. Um, the people in my genre tend to see a rather dark future uh, for the planet, and we are recording that. Um, though uh, I do make some work that is just beautiful, I think that relevant is as important, if not more important, than making something that may match the fabric on your couch. Um, you know, when you look at uh, the United States and how we are taught to um, really disrespect art and artists, it really blows my mind. Um, art seems so unimportant here and so novel. And it's not a novelty. And I'll give you a couple quick examples uh, of how I have distilled this idea to kind of help Americans um, understand its importance and uh, really my importance. It's my job and it's a hard job because there's not a lot of support here for artists unless you're doing something that uh, is cheap or matches people's couches. Uh, who was Van Gogh's doctor? Uh, who was Andy Warhol's lawyer? Don't know. Uh, do you? Well, neither do I. <laughs> Uh, my point being is that uh, these are people that are, are going to be known for probably thousands of years and you probably know these people's work even if you don't collect art and you don't have an art history degree. Um, another point is, and one of the reasons I do my work in ceramics, is uh, when entire civilizations disappear, what do we find? Uh, chards of pottery, uh, tiles, uh, drawings on walls, architecture. Sometimes that's the only thing we have to decipher uh, a civilization from. And uh, one of the reasons that I'm uh, recording the, what's happening right now on the planet with global warming, overpopulation, things like this, is that if the planet blows tomorrow or some catastrophic event happens, I will have done my job and there will be a record here, a non-electrical record, something simple that uh, just like the artisans for thousands of years have done, and um, I think that's really important, and I'm doing my job. I want you to do that. So now I need for you to do your job, and I need for you to support me and other local artists and artists that are just starting out, um, not for the investment purpose, but for the purpose that you like the work, that you think the work's beautiful, and that you understand the work. That's why you collect art, because you connect to it, not just for the investment purpose. That is a capitalist, ignorant uh idea. Okay, bye.